You're watching Keystone Science, and today we're going to talk about gravity. Gravity is a very important thing. It keeps us all down onto the Earth, so we're not all just floating around in space. Gravity, though, is so much cooler than just the thing that makes things fall to the ground and stay there. Gravity itself is a force that we, to be honest, do not completely understand yet. The force of gravity is different on objects depending on their mass and energy. The bigger an object is, relatively speaking, it has more gravity than a small object, unless the small object has tons of energy, then the energy in the small object may supersede the amount of gravity it has in the netscape of gravitational forces in comparison to the big object. When we think of gravity, most of us just think of the Earth's force on us. Not only does it mean the Earth is holding us down, but in a little bit of a way, we, yourself, you, are having a gravitational effect on the Earth. The Earth is pulling more down on you because it has more mass and more energy, but you are also pulling slightly up on the Earth. Distance and size are the two main factors that affect gravitational pull. The gravitational pull by distance drops quite rapidly, depending on how far away you get from the object. The moon's gravitational pull is very small to us because of its size and that it is far away. The thing that causes the tides in the ocean is the pulling effect the moon has on the water. So the moon is pulling on the earth as the earth is pulling on the moon. The cool thing about this though is that, as far as we know, there is no limit to the amount of effect a gravitational field can have. If you were to have me on one side of the universe just going about my business doing whatever it is I do in a day, and then another me on the other side of the universe, we would each be having a small gravitational pull on each other. This gravitational pull is present even though we may be millions and millions of light years apart from each other. This brings up a question, what is gravity? What is the gravitational field an object has? What is composed of it? The answer to this is simply quite unknown. It is theorized there are plenty of theories trying to describe what causes an object's effect on another due to its energy or size of mass, but it is just speculation and we cannot know at the moment. This crazy web net of gravitational fields means that you are being pulled towards whatever device you are using to watch this. That device is also being pulled towards you. And you and the device are being pulled towards me right now at the moment. And the camera I am using to film this with, they are all being pulled towards each other. Granted, this is a very small amount and is very unnoticeable. This amount can be theoretically detected and is present there. Everything has a gravitational field. You, your neighbor, your neighbor's house, and your neighbor's sprinkling system all has a gravitational field that is having an effect on you and everyone else and everything else in existence. Particles like photons are bent when they move past a star, and that is one of the ways that we detect things such as black holes such because the path of the photon is being somewhat askew from what it regularly is. This is all very cool because we do not understand how all of it really works at all. All we know is that everything is attracted to each other and things with more energy and or mass have a greater attraction force than things with a smaller amount. Everything in the entire universe and perhaps outside of the universe is all affected by each other. You are being attracted to everything else in the universe and everything else in the universe and, again, perhaps outside of the universe is being attracted to you. In that field of perspective, you are the center of everything. Thank you for watching.